हेलो फ्रेंड्स स्वरूप हेयर इट इज माई सेकेंड वीडियो इन रिगार्ड टू विंडोज फॉर्म डेवलपमेंट यूजिंग शी शार्ट वेल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो यू सो हाउ टू टेक यूजर इम्पोर्ट एंड ए सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ थिंग आई एम ऑल्सो गोइंग टू डू ओवर हियर बट दिस टाइम आई विल मेकिंग यूज ऑफ इटरेशन वेल फर्स्ट लेट मी रन द प्रोग्राम एंड हेयर इट इज इट इज प्रॉमटिंग यू टू एंटर टू नंबर वन इज एज अ स्टार्ट नंबर सो लेट एज्यूम आई एम गिविंग अ नंबर एज थ्री and here i'm giving a number as 15 okay it will be generating a multiplication table as in regard to the user interface here i have given the button color this is a new thing which i have added and what i have added is the moment i will click this button just see over here those two numbers has been dissolved and the output is coming within a label so you have to generate this output in the label in the first video i showed you how to generate a message in a message box this time i will be generating the output in the label okay if you see this particular form has got certain height but what if if the number exceeds or the multiplication value exceeds the height of this form okay let's go and check it out what do i mean by that this time i'm giving a new number suppose 15 uh, i am going up to uh, i'm going up to let's go for 40 Okay, I want to see the multiple table of five up to forty. Now, the moment I will click this table uh, table button, first thing what you have to keep in mind is that this particular existing contents should be removed. Otherwise, this new series will be concatenated with the existing one. So that will not look good at all. So some way you have to do something that will remove this particular existing content. so that the newly series can be generated let's see as i click the button if you see over here the new value has been generated and the previous value has been devolved previous value is been cleared completely has been cleared and at the same time the height of this particular calculation is much larger than the form size as a result you will see that in this form a scroll bar has been added but the first time when i was doing the scroll bar was not there what do i mean by that let's check it out suppose i am going for 4 and i'm just going up to up to 14 and i click this see the size is sufficient enough and there is no scroll bar so a auto scroll bar has to be implemented that means depending upon the content of the form the scroll bar will be added if required the scroll bar will not be added so these are small small thing which you have to take care about okay so let's go and see the coding part now so as i click the coding option here if you find that i have included couple of variables because i will be taking input from the user there is a start there is a stop there is a counter and there is a result that will generate the calculation so just like previous video i have taken the input from the text box converted it into integer type because of type casting and start and stop value has been generated now one thing which you have which i was talking about that how do you ensure that the next time when you are providing a new value okay the previous value should be removed and for that reason this is the portion that is coming in picture the name of this label is lbl_show and uh, dot text i am calculating its length that means if there is any existing content like for example right now there will be an existing content and that is greater than 0 in that case label dot show will be cleared off and then only the new value will be populated okay so if i if i am uh, putting a comment line let's do one thing i am putting a comment line over here to show you that uh, let me put a comment line over here right and one more thing there is a label over here which i was talking about so this label uh, will be responsible for generating the output now let's go and run the program and this time i'm providing a value over here since the first value there will be no problem the value is fine but next time when i'm going for a new value now there is existing content So if I click the table, just see what happens. The previous content is still there, and on the top of that, the new content has been added. So this is not at all what I want, right? So this is what has to be taken care about, and that is the reason I have written this particular piece of code segment, which will ensure that if there is existing content in the in the label, that will be cleared off. Okay. Now the second important thing which you have to be very very careful about, and that is the moment you are giving an input over here by default. the property of the label goes like it will show you one statement okay but the previous value will not be shown so i have to go for the concatenation see label_show.text 
uh, this is something which I have to concatenate. If I'm not concatenating this thing, let me show you. If I'm not concatenating this thing, suppose I'm, I'm just uh, chopping it out. And now if I go and work out, you will be able to see only the last value which is coming over here. Just see the last value which you are coming. The previous value has been overwritten. So that's the reason you have to put the concatenation of the previous value so that every time it retains, it retains the previous output what it was generated. Okay, that is something which you have to be very careful. Uh, in case of C language, this kind of problem will not take place. But when you are working on the GUI component, like for example, Windows form of C sharp, this issue is there. So this previous content has to be retained. And for that reason, you have to associate the result as a concatenation. Okay. And over here, I've written one function of my own just to clear the component, clear the component. That means every time, suppose this particular button has been clicked and then the clear function is given a call. It is a user defined function. Whatever function name you want, you can write it. There's no problem that will ensure that these two text box values are been dissolved okay so that the fresh value can be put forward over here fine so these are small small things which i have taken care in this particular program i hope this particular program will help you to understand that how a uh, looping part will be ensured in case of windows form control using c sharp okay so that's all for this particular video just wait for my next video until then have a nice time